Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about Catherine McBroom scamming her fans yet again. Yes, girl, because if you follow the Ace family, you know Austin and Catherine, the Ace family, are known to scam their fans multiple times and yet they get away with it every time. You know, they lie a lot. They've been caught in so many lies with receipts and everything, and yet people still choose to support them and follow them. But also, you know, their majority of followers are little naive kids that believe literally everything they say. So now let's talk about how Catherine scammed her fans or is scamming her fans. Well, Catherine has a Poshmark closet and there's nothing wrong with that girl to declutter, get rid of your old clothes or clothes that you don't even wear, your shoes, whatever you want to get rid of. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. The problem here is that Catherine is overcharging her fans for clothes that's not even worth the price that she is charging them. As you can see here, she is saying that that jacket is worth $150 and she is selling it for $60. Well, it's only really worth $72.99. Also, this other one she's claiming it's worth $150 and she is selling it for $75. And on the real site that she got it sent for free, it's really worth $82.99. That's just some of the stuff she is claiming for them to be so much more than what they really are worth. Like, girl, you're supposed to love your fans. You're supposed to help them out, not rip them off. Also, keep in mind, Catherine gets this clothes sent to her for free. Guys, my friends Nat and Liv did a collab with my other friends, Jaylux Label, and I am literally living for this. Thank you guys so much for these beautiful flowers and for these beautiful clothes. You know, I always wear athleisure wear, so this is good to have something different in my closet. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm excited. She gets this clothes sent to her for free and she wants to resell them and make a profit out of and overcharge them for a price that's not even what they really are worth for. What? If this girl really cared and loved her fans, she would give it away for free or at least sell it for cheap or at least 50% of girl. Come on, not overpriced. So another thing that's kind of sus about Catherine is that she claimed on her video that she had no idea that they were losing the house, that she didn't know, that they found out through a comment. One day I'm on like Instagram or something and someone goes, why is your house under foreclosure? And I'm like, what the hell? My house under foreclosure? And well, that's another lie because they got notified on February 1st, 2021. And she made her push mark on February 4th, 2021. And that's when she started selling all her clothes, selling shoes, getting rid of stuff. That's when she decided to make a push mark and start selling things because she already knew she was probably going to move out one day and declutter stuff and get rid of stuff, right? Make your own assumption, girl. Also... A lot of people are coming at the Ace family for selling their stuff on Poshmark and also selling their stuff from their old house, the Ace family house that we all knew. We still haven't seen the new one, but they're literally getting rid of everything. even the kids trampoline girl and well people are like well if you really were that rich you wouldn't have to be selling your stuff first of all you'd probably be donating it or just um giving it away to friends or just people you know or whatever like girl rich people ain't got time for that <laughs> just saying because they do like to portray this rich family going on private planes, going on these lavish, expensive vacations. 
and just showing off how they were showing off for the past like two years that the house was like the nicest richest house and the house literally had so many problems like i was like what girl i thought you were living your best life you know what i mean because they're rich and all and that's what we all thought, you know, they were living their best life, but it looks like they weren't, they were faking it. I don't know, girl, with this family. Anyways, enough of the Ace family. We all know they are full of it and full of drama. I'm going to wrap up the video right here. And if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. And if you're new to my channel, I hope you subscribe for more videos. And also like this video, it really helps the video out a lot. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys back on my next video. Bye!